Welcome back everybody, Stu Sheldon here. Hey, this is a follow-up on my previous video, uh, which is how to do a Debian base install. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the necessary packages that allow us to use Debian GNU Linux as a router. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here as root. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the apt package management system. And I'm going to update all the packages. And these are basically the package repository lists. And now I'm going to do an upgrade just to make sure that everything is the most current version. It comes back, doesn't say I need to upgrade anything. So everything looks good. Now, if you watched the video before, you know that there's absolutely no services running on this particular machine at all. And we need to add some services that would allow us to remotely manage a firewall router, as well as some additional packages that we can use to better configure and use this as a router. So. I'm going to again use the app package management system and I am going to install the following packages. I'm going to install SSH. I'm going to install Telnet. That's the Telnet client. I'm going to install FTP. That's a standard FTP client. I'm also going to install IP route. This is the IP route package, uh, IP route 2 package actually. It's for advanced routing and traffic control. Um, and I'm going to install as well ETH tool. This allows me to make settings to my Ethernet card. And since this is going to be a router, I'm going to install the VLAN tool set as well, just in case I need it. Uh, I probably won't, but chances are if I do need it, it will be after I change something and I will no longer have network access to install the package. So let's go ahead and get it on now. All right, so continuing, I'm going to want some additional packages that may I may use when I'm configuring things or... Uh, looking for things or changing things. So I'm going to install GEOC. Now remember, uh, our minimum install has a minimal version of AUC. Uh, this is the actual complete GNU AUC package, uh, which has a few additional features that I like. Um, now, really, I would all I really need now is less, so I have an easier way to go through man pages. Uh, I like to install file. That's just so if I see a file on the system, I can type file in the uh, file name and figure out what kind of file it is, whether it's a binary or a script or whatever. And also, I want to install some um, other tools that uh, make it easier to oh diagnose problems. So let's install uh, Traceroute. And let's install TCP dump. That will allow me to actually dump packet headers or full packets into a file or out to display. Um, also, let's see, I'm going to install IFTOP. This allows me to take a look at uh, uh, interface utilization, the top uh, interface demand user IPs. Um, and Enload, which is also a reporting program, it's a cursive program that allows me to see additional things. Uh, such as just general bandwidth and bandwidth direction per interface. Um, oh, I'd also like to install who is because a lot of times I'll be looking at log files and I want to see who actually owns an IP. It's convenient to have it right here on the firewall as well. As well as, uh, let's see, um, oh, in case I want to look up a host name, I'll just install bind9 host. And 
And that should be enough. Um, again, we're looking at just bare minimum packages. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and it's going to ask me do I really want to continue. I'm going to say yes. And away we go. So, while this is running, I want to talk a little bit about package management in Linux. Uh, unlike uh, a Windows system, we can actually install things and search for things and all sorts of other cool stuff right on the web using the uh, command line. Um, now, for you folks that run Linux in a GUI environment or a GUI environment, graphical user interface, uh, you're familiar with all the different pack package management programs that are out there that put a pretty face on this. I prefer the command line because it allows me to get down to where I want to go a little bit quicker. Um, I'm going to show you a couple additional App, or, uh, app tools that may come in handy if there's a particular package that you would want to install in the system but you don't know what the package name is you can do an apt cache search and let's say and I've got to spell search right and let's say that I want to look for oh um, how about bridge tools because I want to set a bridge up I can hit bridge and it dumps a lot of stuff out here and we can basically scroll up and look at all the different stuff that's here and boy there's a lot here so let's try to narrow that a little bit uh, let's see how about network bridge tools let's try that uh, tools let's see if that that narrows it down a little bit. Anyway, so you can see how this kind of works. How about bridge utilities? There we go. Utilities for configuring Linux bridges. So you see how you can search for different things and come up with different packages. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, next time, I'm going to show you how to configure up the interfaces in the cursive environment and we'll uh, turn on the ability for links to actually pass packets between interfaces. And not only that, but we'll set up a very, very rudimentary firewall using IP tables. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.